Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today you join me for day two of Rally Germania from Essa. Well, I've been pretty tired recently and everybody said go and relax, go to a spa. Well, today we have come to a spa, but a very different one. We are at the circuit of Spa Frankenstein in Belgium, the legendary race circuit where today we're going to be seeing some rather awesome cars going out on the track and I'm going to be driving in my 675 LT Spider as well. Now the track day today is run also with curb stones, so you've got track cars, race cars, road cars, supercars, sports cars, and everything lasting around. Let's go for a little wander around the Rally Germania paddocks where you can see the cars that we have been driving with. So if I sneak in through here past the SLS GT3 and the GT4 Club Sport, we have a McLaren P1. Next to that, an Aventador SV, then a LaFerrari. And these cars are all driving on the track today. Then we have my 675 LT Spider. I've done a few sort of warm up laps already so far, but I am going to point out that it's wet outside and I am on the Trofeo R sort of semi slick tires. If I come down back here, you can see that there is not a whole lot of tread on there, so I have to be exceptionally careful today. Take it a little bit easy because I want to bring the car home in one piece, but it's in very, very nice company right there, isn't it? Not a bad little lineup. And if we come through here a little bit further, we have the E63R, an AMG GT. RS. I'll explain that one later, I guess, if you didn't see it in my video before. And because Essa are the Koenigsegg and uh, Rimac dealership in Germany, we have a couple of eggs, starting with the CC8S, the CCX, and here we have the Agera RS ML, or the Agera ML, which is obviously one of the 25 Koenigsegg Agera RSs in the yellow and red. And um, some quite exciting news. In a moment, I'm actually going to be jumping on board this car. Let's go for a little run and experience it around this legendary circuit. So I'm going to drive my car later on. But first, we're going to get started with this. With this amazing, amazing machine. So, I'm quite excited. I'm looking forward to this one. Should be uh, savagely awesome. And just look at the thing. Look at this. That is just cool. Scoop up here. Massive wing at the back. But I think it might be time actually any moment now to uh, jump in and see what this is about. And the twin turbo roars into life. Out goes the car. So, let's head round. Remember, it's wet, it's slippy, so carefully does it today. Although this thing would be immensely capable on a track like this. Just epic. So, to open the door, button under here, and then he says, There we go, it folds forwards. Lovely, lovely. Step in. What a car! A huge carbon tub sill to step over. And we're with John. How are you? Oh, it's me. How are you? I'm very good. So, lovely. Have the door closed for us, and I will belt up. You're fairly nifty with these things. Yeah, I've done a few laps over the time. <laughs> No? Already? No, I'm already. A few laps at Spa and a few laps in eggs. So... And we roll. You can see the attention this car gets as we go out. Naturally, warm it up gently. Then it will be time.
big thanks to the owner, whose Instagram is down below, for letting us out, for bringing it back safely. That's the important thing. It's awesome that he even, I mean, he's driven it out in the snow. Yeah. But it's awesome that he's let us come and play with a car like this in the rain. It's, it's worth millions. And, yeah, I mean, it's just really cool to come through the bus stop here just to pull in for the last time. The drama and noise and excitement of the thing is just crazy. Yeah, and more cameras catching us coming back in. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. It might be a tough to get it to take job, but it was pretty cool in the passenger seats. So thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, we will probably do it again at some point when it's dry. <laughs> yes, for sure. Back across the side sill here, yeah. which is uh, not the easiest thing, especially not wearing a helmet. And there we are, we are out. What a ride! That is very, very <laughs> awesome. Thunders back into life. Wicked. So, let's uh, see what's going on then around here and maybe jump in my car quite shortly. So, I've jumped into my car, fired into life. I'm gonna head out, and uh, well, I'll take this fairly easy, but let's get comfortable and uh, have some fun. First lap, completely normal, normal. Just remind myself the car. I've jumped in really quickly because there are just a few minutes left of this session, and I don't wanna waste the opportunity to go for a couple of laps, just to a. Uh, get slightly back into the swing of things. So we'll take it out easily. We're using the uh, full pit lane today. So the uh, endurance, oh, <laughs> La Ferrari. We're using the full pit lane today. So we come down here past the, uh, the World Endurance Championship, past the old pits, and then uh, we get the wristband check, and then we get to go out. It is so awesome seeing the La Ferrari going up the hill there. That is just cool. Anywho, they will check my wristbands as I get down here. Out we go onto the track, and the first sort of important thing to note here is that tyre temperatures are very, very cold, 18 degrees on all corners. So I will not be turning in aggressively. I need to warm the car with the tyres up because it makes a massive difference when it's this slippery, especially when you have to play ours. So get underway and just burn a little bit. Yeah, even driving this gently, traction is lighting up, so that pretty much sets the tone right now. I need to take it. Air flick flipped up, even though I thought I was braking reasonably gently. You lose sort of track on track because the wide open spaces just make it sort of deceptive as to how quickly you're actually driving. But I've driven the Spire a few times. I let this uh, GT3 fly through here. Nice, the sound of that NA flat six and the flashing brakes as he brakes hard. And it's starting to pick up a little bit of temperature now. So for lap two, let's go active dynamics. Put it sport, sport and manual on the panel. So we've got some slightly lower gears going on. A bit more noise, a bit more drama, a bit more fun as well. Into the bus stop. Sensation. 
pushing back through the car. Temps starting to increase, but still like to go traction everywhere. Oh, you just have to be really, really sensible on a day like today. It would be so easy to mess it up. I would come back and show you around the GTRS. 
So this is a tribute to the old 300 SEL Rotozal, the red pig, because it was a big red heavy car, but it raced, it did pretty well um, for AMG. And this is in the same sort of red with the sort of loose rally stickers like it had, although now it also has Gumball stickers, it has the Millimelia sticker, and it has probably a Rally Gamania sticker somewhere and all sorts of other things, yes, there on the front. But it also has the four spotlights on the front, just as it had um, on the old car. And instead of having 585 horsepower, this has 610, so about 25 horsepower more um, than the uh, standard AMG GTR, which makes it extra cool. If we walk around the C63R, if you can call it that, we just come up here. C63R, kind of a take on a black series. I actually wanted to show you at the back the GTRS motors out. Yeah, red pig. It's not so much of a red pig. It's something really, really cool. And obviously I'm quite excited because my AMG GTR is due in a couple of months' time. So lots to come on that front. But you can tell it's all sort of quietening up here. Everybody's sort of loosely preparing to depart for the drive this afternoon. Um, so I'll probably be jumping back in the McLaren and have to go from here, I think over towards Bond or Cologne where we're heading tonight. But today has been awesome. Out we go. So there's actually a tunnel we've just driven through. Lots of cars coming out of there that marks the exit of the circuit, sadly. Um, then it's back out on the roads and the drive and I can spot a LaFerrari. Yep, Laf lurking up there. I guess we're all going to gather for a little bit of convoying from here. I'm in the passenger seat and Mark is driving yep. in the McLaren. And uh, yeah, gives me a break for a moment. And here we are, we have made it. So, we've got the Aventador SVs lined up right here. Oh, there's a green 570S there too. Nice, nice. It's an English one. Yeah, some English cars. We've got English uh, 12C, 650S, 650S, excuse me, 650S Spider. Um, so we will park up and uh, jump out. You know what? I'm gonna wrap up this video right here because with this weather, I don't fancy trying to film outside. So the cars are all parking up, lined up here beside the river but this has been a fairly awesome day going out in the Agira ML Instagram link down below go check it out big thanks to John big thanks to the owner as well of course for letting me have that opportunity and driving this car on Rally Germania at Spa and basically having an awesome time I'm gonna be back there in the not too distant future though so I'll hopefully have dry weather be able to push it a bit harder with some new tires as well but today has been awesome tomorrow should continue being awesome because we're heading to the Nürburgring Nordschleife and I'm also going to test drive something there as well so stay tuned for that and um yeah thanks as always for watching thanks for being subscribed I'm gonna head inside and I will see you again very soon cheers